Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're picking up where we left off in Robo Instructors. So that's right at the fourth level, dealing with uh, variables. So before we get started, I'd like to thank uh, the two commenters in the uh, first video to let me know to continue this uh, series. That's uh, Parker B and YF23. Appreciate the uh, reminder because I don't think I was going to come back to this game series. Uh, okay, so we're in here and uh, looking at the uh, recovered messages. So that's just the, uh, that's re re related to the story and stuff. Not too, not too important as far as the coding goes. Uh, okay, so looking at the console, there's some text here already. Uh, there's a loop. Uh, there's a loop and the variable scan, which is robo scan, which returns a uh, value as, I think this was covered in the last video. And if scan is one, Robo forward. Okay. So let's just run that, see what happens. Okay, so the guy just keeps on scanning, doesn't do anything, returns a value of one. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and add some more conditions here. Okay. Uh, we want to add a condition for an unknown tile, which this is, this darker blue uh, tile. So let's add a condition for that. If scan is negative 999, then we want the robot to go left. So that's condition. And then another condition for uh, if we're in front of an exit. Uh, so let's add that if scan no not if scam if scan if scan is two we want the robot to go forward okay let's run that and see what happens perfect okay should work for this too no nope, doesn't work for this so we forgot to add condition for if the uh, uh, the tile ahead is actually absent. We forgot to add that. So let's add that here. If scan is minus one, then we want the robot to go left. Okay. All right. Let's start that. It should work. All right, perfect. Same thing here. Okay. Solution seems to be working pretty well so far. All right. This looks like a pretty long one, but I think I think it should work. Going the right way so far and anyway i think once the solution works for the first couple levels i think it's most likely going to work for all of them so there shouldn't be much of a concern as, as to whether it's going to work or not all right so we've uh we've got two comparisons now it says primer section recovered and this is just your, uh, your your greater than or equals kind of logic, which is going to be useful for a lot of the uh, if if uh, if functions. Okay, so in this example, they're using the uh, variable in conjunction with the uh, if to to, uh, uh, to 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 make conditions a bit more specific. Uh, all right, let's go ahead. And we've also uh, recovered the uh, else ability. Uh, it says, after an if, you can use else to deal with otherwise cases more easily. An else block runs when the if above, above it doesn't. Okay. Multiple else if can be chained together to deal with many possible exclusive cases. This ensures only one indented block will be executed. 
Okay, an else section at the end will only run if each if and each else if test above it fails. Okay. All right, so we we were uh, we've been instructed to use an else and a comparison like greater than in this solution that we just uh, created. It says try re reworking your solution before proceeding. Okay, uh, try reworking this using an else and a comparison. Uh, so I think looking at this, we could we could simplify this a bit. Uh, looking at this, we we there's uh, two there, where the, there's like four possibilities, right? But uh, two of them are positive and two of them are negative. So what we could do, and also the, the positive ones uh, return, uh, the positive ones have the same kind of command after them, right? Like both have robo forward and the negative ones will have a uh, robo left uh, when they're true. So what we could do is we could set this so that if scan is uh, if scan is let me just clear this out if scan is greater than zero then we could move the robo forward and if we don't even have to use if again we could just use else else Uh, robo left so that that kind of that really uh, simplifies it and just uh, meets both the uh, requirements to use the uh, it else and a comparison so this should work all right works perfect That's perfect. So I don't know, I think that was like, I don't know, eight, nine, ten, maybe, maybe lines of code. And it's kind of been, com uh, what is it, compressed into what, a total of seven lines? one two three four six lines so just using the uh, else and comparison made the code much shorter and we've unlocked a new function here it says uh, robo use operates on the current tile returning tile specific data or zero otherwise with a runtime of 400 milliseconds okay so I'm guessing that's gonna be important the uh, next level uh, and these are our results for this stage uh, solution size was was uh, seven. It seems the best possible one was five, right between zero and ten. So I think best possible solution is five. Uh, overall, I don't think the the score is too bad. Okay, so let's exit this and go to the next level. Okay, so we finished that one. It's only. Wait, there's only uh, three more levels to go. Okay. So, more of the uh, story. Again, I'll leave this on the screen a bit if you want to pause and just read through it. Uh, I think I should read through a bit of this too. It says, uh, power switches have RoboScan code 10. Uh, returns 1 if the switch is on and 0 if the switch is turned off. Okay. So there is there is some inf important inf information here, so uh, it might be important to read through them every now and then. Okay, it says Robo scan scans the tile in front, returns a value indicating tile properties one. Yeah, we we've seen this already. So okay, ten. There's a new kind of uh, Robo scan result result uh, that is uh, ten being a power switch. Okay. Robo use operates on the current tile returning tile specific data or zero otherwise. Power switch returns one if 
for on and zero for off and adds an additional thousand milliseconds of runtime. Okay. And you can use the pause function. It took me a while to get it, but it's pretty useful. Okay. So we've unlocked a new uh, pause feature. Let's try that out. Okay, so I, I think what this does is it executes the code in like in increments, so it's not just that uh, it's not all at once. So it kind of allows you to to see better where you might be going wrong and uh, kind of see where you might need to make more uh, some changes. So I guess that's better than just running it at once and trying to catch it, you know, after after the run. So you can this this would be helpful, I think. Okay, so level solutions can be saved and loaded here. So let's see this. Okay, so if we mess up the code, we can always uh, we can always go back and just wait. No, initial code. Yeah. Okay, we can always go back and just fix it. All right. So let's see what happens when we just run the default code. Okay. So first thing I see here is that. Uh, you're going to want to make a loop again, because otherwise it's just going to run to the, uh, to the end of the code and, and, you know, stop. So I'm going to make a loop. I think I'm just going to clear this out for now. Make a loop. Actually, let's, let's leave that there. See if it's any use. Just going to comment it out instead. I don't think there's a way to comment out all at once. No, there isn't. So you just have to comment out each line. Okay. Just gonna leave this there in case it's it's uh it's handy. And then above it I'm just gonna try my own ideas out. Okay. So we've got this loop going. And then uh, we're going to need to set our conditions for the uh, RoboScan, like we did in the uh, last level. So, for the condition, uh, of, uh, of an absent, I'm oh, sorry, a normal tile, if RoboScan is one we want uh, the robot to go forward and another condition for if RoboScan and again uh, once this is all done you can go back to this and con uh, condense it kind of make it uh, shorter but I think just for clarity and perhaps just for my own understanding I'm just gonna go through it uh, step by step. So if RoboScan is two, we want the robot to go forward again. Ro uh, two being exit, right? So we always want to go forward when we're uh, behind an exit. Uh -huh, okay. Now if there's an absent tile we want to turn left. Robo left. And uh, if uh, where's the if uh, if the tile is unknown we also want to turn left. Robo left, and then finally condition for the uh, power switch. If 
Robo scan. Well, actually, let's run this first. Let's just see what happens. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, definitely have to add a code for the uh, power switch. So, let's just throw that in there. If Robo scan. is 10 then we want robot go forward and not only go forward we also want it to use the switch right so use the switch see what happens now Okay, he uses the switch. All right, and he comes back to it and he uses it again. But that's not what we want because he's just turned it off. And now he's just wandering in circles. So what we're gonna do there is stop the code. So he's at this point of the code right here, he's used the switch and it's on. So, what you're gonna want to do is nest another if in here and check if uh, robo use is one. It's gonna check if the uh, power switch is on. So, and if it is, He's just gonna move forward, right? And if it's not, if it's not on, we want him to uh, to turn it on, right? Yeah, we want him to turn it on, and then uh, turn it on, and then. We want him to move, right? We want him to move. Let's just run this for now, actually. See what happens. No, nope. incorrect indentation. Uh, plus one indents can only occur after a line starting with if loop for while fun. I don't think we've discovered this yet fun. And we haven't uh, unlocked uh, while while yet. That's just another kind of loop. Uh, so let's remove the indentation error and bring this in line again and bring this under here and then just bring that in there and that should fix the errors okay so what happens now okay That worked. Okay. Let's see if it works in this one too. Let's try and speed this up. Don't know if there's a way to speed this up. Okay, this is as fast as it goes. Okay, just gonna have to wait it out. Okay. Oh no, he's going the wrong way, is he? Is he gonna make his way back? He's supposed to go this way. I think he's just gonna circle back eventually. At least I hope he is. Okay, yeah, he is. Alright, come on. There we go. 
All right. So I think the uh, the most time consuming part of this is that he has to check everything around him. There's no there's no way to kind of just have him, you know, walk straight, walk, uh, turn left, and all that. So it takes a while because he has to check everything. That's good. I was kind of concerned because this was a uh, this was kind of like a weirdly shaped uh, cor corner, right? But he seemed to get past through well. It's perfect. I think this should work for this level too. Okay. Turn it back on. Okay. All right, it's perfect. So we've unlocked a new function, robo forward location. That returns the ID of the tile the robot is facing and has a runtime of 75 milliseconds. So this is an example of the uh, function var variable location equals to robo for location. Okay, so each tile on the level has a distinct ID number, positive and non-zero. Okay, and scope. Uh, indented code, like those that come after loop or if lines, uh, represent scope. A variable can only be used in the scope it was declared in. To make a variable more widely, okay, let's go through this first. Uh, if scan is one, variable foo is one, two, three. If foo is one, two, three, okay. If foo is one, three. So outside of the, uh, uh, of the, uh, if, uh, line that it was, to, uh, that it's run under, it runs under this, uh, if, and because, uh, because you're calling the the variable outside of the if that it was declared in then it cannot be kind of it can't be it can't be found because it's not within the scope of the uh, greater of the greater uh, code right so I, I hope this makes sense but just read through it if if uh, if what I'm saying isn't too clear but uh, essentially just means declare your stuff in places that the rest of the code can see it. So this is being uh, declared in place that only this code can see it. So for this code to see it, you'd have to move it outside here so that everything could see it. So yeah, there it says, uh, to make a, var a variable more widely available, it can be declared in the outer scope. So for example, top level variables are accessible everywhere and will not be removed. So in this case, variable foo uh, could be could be uh, could be used and uh, seen in in each of these uh, if lines, but the thing is that uh, when you when you do it this way, uh, it's not being assigned a value, or you could also assign a value here. But uh, yeah, it's just a whole, it's, it's it goes way way uh, it, it can go really differently. But I think just as far as the game is concerned, uh, this is. This is a good explanation. And granted, I'm not, you know, I'm not some uh, programming whiz of any kind. So always uh, consult actual people who know these things, you know, professionally. So, uh, yeah, I think that's good. Uh, see the uh, results here. Wow. That's a, oh, wait, we could improve this. We could improve this a lot. Um, it says solution size 28 phrases. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's uh, let's uh, condense this a little bit. Uh, let's see this. If it's 
Ah. Uh, uh, okay. We've got negative values here. If okay, we've got we've got negative values. We've got two positive values that have the same uh, uh, effect, like this, they carry out the same thing. And they have two negative values to carry out the same thing, and then we have a positive value that does something different. Okay. So what we could do here is, uh, okay, I uh, can't seem to edit this just yet. Let's go here and edit this if RoboScan is less than zero for this. Less than zero. We want to, oh. We want to move the robot left. Okay. Now, here, if, uh, let's move this one up a bit so that it runs first. Uh, let's cut that out of there. And move that there. Bring that back in line. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, move that there. Now, if Robo Scan is greater than zero, let's see if this works. If Robo Scan is greater than zero. Oh wait, we could just say if RoboScan is greater than or equal to 10, right? That kind of fixes this a bit. And then, if RoboScan is greater than or equal to uh, 0, greater than or equal to 0, then uh, Robo forward, right? So that is pretty much the same thing that all that commented out stuff was, wasn't actually useful. So let's move that out of the way. So let's clear out some of the uh, white space and let's run that again. Just looking at it, look, looking over it again. Oh, that's an error over there. Robo use. Okay. So looking over this, it uh, it kind of uh, adjusts for each possible uh, robo scan result. It says it, it checks for greater than or equal to ten. Uh, it checks for greater than or equal to zero, and then it checks for less than zero. Okay. Expected line. Oh, okay, so I think I gotta move this in here. Is this working now? Okay. Let's see. Okay. That works. Okay, looks good so far. I think he did this the first time too, he goes all the way down this way and then he comes back up. So, this isn't a problem.
So again, we're just doing this to kind of just improve the uh, the overall score and just kind of make the code as, as short as I can. And again, like if you guys have different solutions that are better, I, I definitely appreciate if you guys share it, share it in the uh, comments. Uh, and if you'd like, I could post my solutions as well. So. Perfect. Okay, final stage. Okay. Perfect. All right, so how have we improve these scores? So we <laughs> improved it by four lines. And somehow the best solution is five lines of code. That is insane. I don't know what you could possibly cut out to make this uh, even shorter. I'm just trying to look over it and see what could possibly be uh, removed. But anyway, yeah, if, if you guys have better solutions, definitely share them in the uh, comments. I'd appreciate that. And for now, I think I'm going to end this video here. And then in the next video, uh, finish the final two levels. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Have a great day.